Train drivers are finding their way along the new Mernda Rail extension, which is due to open next weekend. Community lobbyists are celebrating the end of a 10-year battle to give residents in Melbourne's booming outer north access to the metro system. More from Andrew Lund. It's Melbourne's newest rail line. OK, once we leave here, guys, we're on the, obviously, the new Mernda track. And for the past few weeks, train drivers have been busy learning the eight-kilometre route from South Morang to Mernda. After we leave there, we've got three automatic signals and then we've got home signals all the way into Mernda. Train crew must complete two runs along the new rails before being qualified and long-time driver Graham Arnold is impressed with what he's seen. There is a bit to take in but uh, it's not a bad section of track. Um, things have improved a lot over recent years in respect to sighting of signals and um, location of stations. The Mernda line isn't actually new. It follows the old Whittlesea rail corridor. Back in the 1950s, electric red rattlers would take track travellers from the city as far as Thomastown before diesel rail motors continued the journey north through Epping, South Morang and Yan Yi. The track was closed in 1959. Next Sunday it will reopen with three new stations after a 10-year community campaign. We didn't accept what the government said in that we didn't need a railway. We told the government that we do want a railway because at the end of the day, they represent us, not the other way around. Eight years ago, Labor was planning to build a busway, but after a change of heart, jumped on board the rail plan. The right solution has been put in place for the Moonda community. This is a growing, a rapidly growing part of Melbourne. The new extension is initially expected to be used by around 8,000 people every day. But that number is likely to grow as development continues in the surrounding area. The public will have a chance to test the new line tomorrow with a special open day between 12 and 3. Andrew Lund, 9 News.